The first step to using the Big Blue North Star Extruder is to release the barrel. Turn the ram all the way to the top and remove the quick release safety pin at the bottom of the extruder. This will unlock the barrel and allow it to be removed. Lift the barrel up and towards you to remove it. The extruder comes with a large variety of die that allow you to make many different forms. You can create hollow die by using the center brace attachment. In this demonstration, we'll show you how to make hollow forms, but if you wanted to create solid forms, simply leave off the center brace. The bar of the brace will always go on the side with the bevel and the inset lines. Next, attach the solid shape to the center post and secure with a washer and a nut. Some of the die for smaller shapes are for a 4-inch barrel and need a 6-inch adapter die to make it fit our machine. The center brace for hollow forms is a little different for this product. Use the center brace shown here and make sure the edge of the metal is firmly inserted into the line of the die. It is important that the center brace ends are secured by the locks on the adapter die as shown. Tighten the locks with a screwdriver. Once you are ready to assemble the barrel, place the die on the extruder with the indentions and center brace facing the inside of the barrel. Make sure the notches on the side of the die line up with the brackets on the barrel lock. Use the large hex screws to secure the barrel lock in place, but don't over tighten the screws. The barrel is aluminum and the threads can be easily stripped. A quick spray with cooking oil will help with cleanup later. Next, you're ready to insert your clay and put the barrel in the extruder. Don't forget to attach the quick release pin. If the pin is not in place, the barrel could fall during use and cause injury. If the pin does not align with the hole, the barrel lock is on upside down and needs to be flipped. The clay is ready to extrude by turning the round wheel counterclockwise. It might be helpful to have a partner who will catch the clay as it comes out of the machine. This will help your extrusion stay straight. If you are extruding hollow shapes, you might need to gently dry them with a heat gun before you cut them from the machine to help them hold their shape. Extrude the rest of your clay, but be careful not to turn the wheel once the rim is at the end of its cycle. If you keep trying to extrude the clay past this point, it will damage the machine. Now it's time to clean up. Remove the quick release pin to unlock the barrel. Take the barrel to your table and remove any excess clay. Once the barrel and die are completely disassembled, take the barrel to the sink and wash it thoroughly with a sponge and water. Dry the, all the parts and reassemble them. Check the plunger for any caked clay. You can also use the pen to disengage the plunger and take it to the sink to be cleaned if necessary. Remember, we have people using all types of clay in the classroom, so be considerate of the next person to use the machine. Always replace the plunger and the pen when you get finished. Thanks for watching this demonstration. If you have any questions, please ask your instructor or lab technician.